guys, welcome back to my channel, Dear Ashley. I hope you like that new little intro. I don't know, I thought it was cute. I'm trying to be a little more uh, professional on YouTube, so I felt like I should have an intro or whatever. Whatever YouTubers do, I don't know. But today, I'm gonna show you how to get Pam Anderson's signature updo, which I think is so cute. I used to do this all the time in high school. I've worn it dressed up, I've worn it dressed down. I just think it always looks good, honestly. And really, all it is is a messy bun with a bunch of curled pieces coming out. And I just, it's a very sexy look, very sexy Pamela Anderson look, of course, because Pam Anderson is a sex symbol. I really don't know of anyone else that does their hair like this. So it really is her signature hairstyle, one of them. And I thought it'd be fun to do, especially after just doing a Becoming Pam video. Hopefully you guys like that one. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it up here. It's my most recent video where I went through how to do her makeup and her signature hair down. But yeah, I wanted to do her signature hair up because it's just as cute and pretty and fun and I feel like it really doesn't go out of style. So I'm gonna show you what I used to do in high school all the time. Hopefully I can remember because I haven't worn my hair like this in a while, but hey, we're gonna try it. I would say it's best to use day two or three hair after it being curled. It doesn't have to be perfectly curled and you want it to be kind of dirty so your hair actually stays up and we don't have to use too many bobby pins because if it's freshly curled and soft, I just don't think it would stay as well or wouldn't look as good. The curls don't have to be perfect. Like we can curl some of it when it's already up and stuff too. So you don't really have to recurl it when it's down. But anyway, I'm gonna start with some volume powder in my roots just because my hair's looking a little flat. This is not really necessary, but I'm gonna do it just because. I don't wanna risk my hair being flat. Her hair always has so much volume, which is one thing I love about it. Just give it a little zhuzh. I also cut a little bit of bang for this video because my hair is pretty long. It was like down to here, so I cut some pieces. This is really a piecey hair look. Definitely messy, like I said, but she always has like layers and stuff too, so that'll make it look extra Pam-like. So I'm just going to take the pieces out that I want in the front, and part of this look is lots of hair down. You don't want it to look too perfect. Like I said, we're going to curl them once it's up, so... Just want to make sure I have down what I want. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to start wearing my hair like this again because I did really love my hair like this when I used to wear it up. We're going to start forming a ponytail. You want it to end up at the base, like right here. You don't want it to be too high because that's not really the look she, got, she does. And you want it to be like... Just like your typical ponytail height, like right here. You can see like once we put it up, like it'll be right there. Yeah. So obviously this isn't going to work with short hair or even medium hair. Maybe medium hair, but I would say you definitely need some extensions if you're going to try and replicate this. So we're going to wrap this around as many times as we can. That's about where we want it. I like to pull some pieces forward so it's not super flat to my head. Just like kind of play with it a little. And I do this with regular ponytails too because I hate my hair super flat. I know some people like that slick look but I I, I could do without it. I like it a little messy. And I'm gonna bring you closer to the mirror so I can show you exactly how to get the bun because I make a bun first. I don't just, you know, stick bobby pins in because I don't like a million bobby pins in my hair and I just think it looks better with a bun situation going on. Bring you a little closer here so you can see. Turn this light off. Okay. Take this, run my fingers like this from what I remember and then I take, I go like this to show you first and then I'll kind of try to demonstrate it but take it go like this to form a bun like that wrap it around once then start pulling some hair like kind of pulling it in and we'll pull stuff back out if we need to but kind of pulling it in wrapping it around again and I leave it like that I don't wrap it around three times, just two times. So then I kind of like pull it and start pulling pieces out 
like so. And you want to pull a bunch of pieces out because we're going to curl those. But keep going like that. And of course you can use bobby pins for the rest of this, but I'll bring it back out here. Put a little bobby pin like right here. Should be secure enough with what we just did that you don't really don't you're only using the bobby pins to like style it, not to actually keep it up. I'm gonna get some more hair out. She always has some pieces hanging out like that. I'm just kind of like pulling pieces, like pulling some little pieces out a little more so the front is a little more full of hair. Like she always has hair like hanging around her face. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna curl some pieces. I think this is a one inch, but we're definitely gonna curl these pieces hanging down for sure. And she always has like your typical ringlet curl. I'm sure she's done looks with Beach Wave, but her signature look is an actual curl. I used to do this in high school all the time, curl every little piece till I was satisfied. But this hairstyle was perfect for cheerleading. I was a cheerleader, so it always looked cute and it always stayed real nice. And honestly, I don't think it matters if it, the curl is facing your face or facing away from your face because she always just had a mix of curls. That's the point of it. That's why I love it because it's just, you know, messy, sexy, cute. So I polled you guys on Instagram. I'm actually taking a break from Instagram and social media right now because I am trying to figure my life out. And I just don't want the distraction, but I polled you to see which character you wanted me to recreate because Catwoman seems to be my most popular video. So I polled you and I said Princess Leia or Poison Ivy and you all said Poison Ivy. It was like a resounding Poison Ivy in the voting. So I will be doing that eventually. I bought the costume and everything. I just haven't had the time. And also I got a real camera finally. I'm just trying to learn how to use it. So I just pulled another piece out just cause, cause I wanted to get this guy going. Well, that's gonna be a nice curl. Oh yeah, I love it. I seriously love this hair. I think it's so cute. First, before we do the bangs, I want to not actually straighten, but kind of like, I can't really explain what I'm doing, but just so with the pieces fall like in front of our face more, I'm gonna straighten in a way to make them do that and then curl them. So take a straightener, pretty much go like this. Do it a couple times. See how that made it more like PC-ish versus like this was like, yeah. So that definitely helps get the Pam look. Let's curl pieces. I'm gonna just curl it like away from my face like this. I was not sure how to film this. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm hoping you can see everything even with the mirror and stuff. I wanted to be able to show you how I actually do the bun cause I feel like that's really important. All right, let me spray with some hairspray and then I'll turn around so you can see the back and exactly how it turned out. But I think it's, I think it's pretty spot on. I mean, obviously I don't have real bangs so I can't get it like exact, but this is my version, bitch. So let's see show you the sides anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my little pam anderson updo tutorial i hope it helped you out if you've been trying to recreate this look and i'll see you in my next video bye